Hey guys, it's John P with Geekbeat TV. Still here at CES 2013. Oh my God, I got a bunch of cool stuff to show you from Tilt. Let's take a look. Powered by the 2013 C-Max, the official car of CES. Okay, I don't know where these guys came from. They've been around apparently since last year at CES, but somehow I missed them. Previously, they were showing kind of demo products, but now they're coming to life. So I've got a line of stuff here I'm gonna show you, and we're gonna kind of start from smallest and go up to biggest. So first of all, imagine the power cord for your automobile, well, reimagined. This is actually a charger. You can, you can tell this doesn't look like anything you've ever seen before. It's a rubberized charger. Um, I don't know what to tell you about it. It still works like a car charger. It's got a USB pass through there. And on this end, it's got whichever device uh, adapter you want. Very cool though. You're, you're definitely gonna be noticed when you have one of those in your vehicle. Now, here's a little problem. I've got the Galaxy Note 2, which if you guys will recall, has NFC built into it. That means you can theoretically tap it to another device and do things like transfer images and stuff like that. However, there are very few things that actually have NFC built into them. Now, Tilt has a solution to that. They've got these little things called tags, and really all they are are little stickers that are NFC stickers. So what you can do is put one, for example, in your wallet like I did right here, and then if I tap my phone to my wallet, it'll do things. It can be programmed to, you know, uh, lock or unlock or launch an app or whatever. So that's pretty cool. These are gonna be 20 bucks for a pack of six, so you can NFC everything you want. Now, moving into battery chargers. Here is a neat little tilt portable charger. It's got 5,200 milliamp battery built into it. You flip the top open and you can notice this has an iPhone 5 charger. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting that. It also has a USB uh, port, so you can plug in any other kind of cable into it. It's a good looking little uh, charger just to stick in your pocket or in your bag, take it on the go. Now, you've also got a new Bluetooth speaker they're coming out with. This one has a 5,000 milliamp battery built into it. It has a USB port on the back so that you can plug in your cell phone or some other device to charge it and it comes with these cool little rubber bumper feet thing, things to protect it. And it even, they've even gone so far as to put tiny little rubber nubs on the feet here to prevent it from uh, vibrating uh, itself off the table. So, hey, let's take a quick break and then I'm gonna show you the rest of the lineup. Hey, did you know that NPR's award-winning Public Radio app is one of the many apps that you can control with your voice via Ford Sync App Link. Connect a supported mobile phone to your Ford vehicle via Sync App Link, and before you know it, you're going to be able to stream local news, listen to your favorite programs like Morning Edition and All Things Considered, and navigate through custom playlists, all using simple voice commands. Sync App Link is yet another example of how Ford is going further to keep you connected on the go. Thanks so much to Ford for powering our CES coverage. Okay, we're back. Now, let's talk about induction charging. A lot of new phones are coming with built-in induction charging, but you have to buy some kind of a boring little base to charge it with. Well, Tilt is coming out with this cool little induction charger. As you can see, it sits on the table and it keeps your phone tilted up, so they're calling it the Tilt. That one is gonna run about 70 bucks when they come out. By the way, all these devices are available uh, they'll be available in April, although some of them you can pre-order really soon. Okay, here's another one I know you guys are going to be excited about. It's a nice thin little case for the iPhone 5. The edge of it actually wraps around a little to give it some drop protection from the front. But even though it's a thin little case, that's not what's so special about it. Here's what's special. The battery back that it just slides into and bang, you've got a lot of extra battery for your iPhone 5. Very, very cool. Available in April again. Now, on to the big daddy. This is a brand new backpack they're coming out with. 
it has little compartments all over it so you can stick all kinds of stuff in here. So we've got a big open area inside. There's a little bag for your uh, wires and things. I really love this part on the top. It's a spot to put your glasses and your phone. You know, I always want to put those in the top so they're easy to access anyway, so it's right there. Now, if we open the big part right here, you're gonna see a couple of different things. First of all, it's kind of a TSA airport uh, bag, so you can lay it flat and not have to take your laptop out. Laptop goes in this side, it's nice and padded. And then over here, we've got a big monster battery. This is a 10,500 milliamp battery. You might say, why would I want a battery in there? Well, notice it's got a lot of USB plugs. And what you can do is you can feed three different USB cables through all kinds of slots. So you can put devices anywhere you want them in here to be charging things like your iPad, your phone, your 3G or 4G card, etc. These are going to be $199. They're actually available for pre-sale as of tonight on ChristyStreet.com. $199. They'll be shipping in April. We will keep you guys informed of all this stuff as it really comes out and as we're able to test some of it and verify that it really works. So stay tuned for more coverage from GeekBeat. Check in over on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash TV. And how about a thumbs up? See you guys at more CES later on.